Hello, and welcome to this presentation on the new construction dewatering program that the City of Hamilton will be implementing. Topics that will be covered during this presentation include the rationale for implementing a construction dewatering program, an overview of the construction dewatering program workflow, how a construction dewatering sewer discharge permit can integrate with the Planning and Economic Development Department workflow, the construction dewatering sewer discharge permit application process, including application form requirements, considerations for discharges to each sewer type, permit reporting requirements, and the City of Hamilton monitoring and enforcement activities. Over the past several years, the City of Hamilton has seen continued high development activity, receiving over 1,000 development applications annually. In 2019, the City of Hamilton exceeded $1 billion worth of construction for the ninth time in the last decade, resulting in the construction of nearly 2,700 new housing units and strong non-residential construction. Between 2017 and 2020, the City of Hamilton registered 258 development applications with likely dewatering requirements, which would have resulted in approximately 60 construction dewatering sewer discharge permit applications per year. Given the strong development and construction activity that has been ongoing within the City of Hamilton, a need has arisen to manage, permit, and monitor discharges occurring because of construction dewatering activities. In particular, the City of Hamilton needs to manage the capacity of their conveyance and wastewater treatment systems to mitigate flooding, which can result in sewer backups and or discharges to the natural environment, and manage the capacity available for future developments. Therefore, the construction dewatering program has been developed to achieve the following goals. Number one, protect the City of Hamilton's wastewater conveyance and treatment system assets. Number two, protect the environment and comply with environmental legislation by establishing and enforcing water quality requirements in the City of Hamilton's sewer use bylaw. Number three, recover the costs associated with administering and monitoring construction dewatering discharges. And number four, recover the cost of treatment for discharges to the sanitary or combined sewer system, which ultimately end up at a wastewater treatment facility. This next section will present an overview of the construction dewatering program workflow. The workflow for the new construction dewatering program is straightforward and begins with a development application that has been identified as requiring dewatering. The development application is reviewed by the Planning and Economic Development Department, where a recommendation is made that a sewer discharge permit will be required due to the anticipated dewatering. Following the recommendation from the Planning and Economic Development Department, the proponent submits a construction dewatering sewer discharge permit to the City of Hamilton, which is subjected to a review. During the review period, the City of Hamilton may request additional documentation or information to support the construction dewatering sewer discharge permit application, which the proponent must supply. Once reviewed, the application is processed and approved, and a permit is issued to the proponent. The final stage of the workflow involves monitoring and enforcement activities carried out by the City of Hamilton as the proponent carries out construction dewatering according to the approved sewer discharge permit. This next section will present an overview of how the construction dewatering program will integrate with the existing development application workflow. This slide illustrates a simplified version of the existing workflow governing the review of development applications received by the City of Hamilton. Highlighted within this workflow are two points where a proponent can receive notice that they must apply for a construction dewatering sewer discharge permit for construction dewatering discharges related to their development. The first point of contact can occur when the proponent receives site plan approval from the Planning and Economic Development Department with a recommendation to apply for a construction dewatering sewer discharge permit. 
The second point of contact can occur when the proponent submits a building permit application. It is the proponent's responsibility to secure a construction dewatering sewer discharge permit where applicable prior to commencing any construction dewatering related activities. This next section will present an overview of the construction dewatering sewer discharge permit application process. The construction dewatering sewer discharge permit will cover discharges resulting from the following activities. Taking water from a well or otherwise extracting groundwater, or draining water from a permanent or temporary pond or other surface water body, whether natural or human made, or the permanent or temporary alteration of a natural or pre-existing drainage pattern, or releasing water previously stored in a tank, tank or truck, vessel or other means of water storage, or any combination of the above noted activities, where the water from such activity would be discharged to a sewer works and such activity is related to a construction, land development, renovation, repair, maintenance or demolition activity and it is not related to a groundwater remediation unit or site. Activities not covered by the construction dewatering sewer discharge permit include discharges containing substances that exceed the City of Hamilton standards established in the sewer use bylaw number 14-090, discharges from dewatering operations associated with groundwater remediation units or sites covered under the City of Hamilton's conditional sewer discharge permit, or discharges from a permanent dewatering system. The construction dewatering sewer discharge permit will be applicable for temporary discharges only, covering a period of up to three years. If dewatering discharges are expected to continue for a duration longer than three years, the issued permit can be renewed. Permanent dewatering systems will not be allowed under the construction dewatering sewer discharge permit. This next section will provide an overview of the construction dewatering sewer discharge permit application form requirements. Sewer discharge permit applications with the City of Hamilton include an administrative component, which is used regardless of the type of sewer discharge permit required, and a technical component, which is specific to the type of sewer discharge permit required. Therefore, in addition to the administrative component of the application, a new technical component, Schedule G, has been developed for construction dewatering sewer discharge permits. Schedule G requests the following information. A project description, the source of water to be discharged, the sewer type to receive the discharge, storm sewer or sanitary combined, the discharge location, the anticipated discharge volume, peak flow rate, and maximum daily discharge volume, the discharge period, the discharge frequency, every day, once per week, the characterization or quality data of the discharge, pretreatment information, if applicable, and details pertaining to groundwater and or soil contamination. In addition to the items on the previous slide, the following information is requested in Schedule G. Flow measuring device information, identification of the sample collection point, a contingency plan in the event discharges must stop, applicable drawings or schematics, applicable engineering reports, a copy of applicable Ministry of the Environment, Conservation and Parks approvals, which may include environmental compliance approval, the Environmental Activity Sector Registry, and the permit to take water. This next section will provide an overview of things the proponent must consider when choosing the sewer type, that is storm sewer or sanitary combined, that will receive the discharge. The City of Hamilton's expectation is for discharges to go into the storm sewer as the preferred way of discharge. The requirements for going into the storm sewer system extend beyond Hamilton water and will require some time to obtain. 
As such, proponents need to make themselves aware of the expectations of getting the construction dewatering sewer discharge permit and to be clear from the beginning that it is imperative that proponents start the process early as the approvals will take some time to obtain. Where it is not feasible for the discharge to enter the storm sewer system, the sanitary combined systems are an option. For discharges entering the sanitary combined sewer system, they must comply with the City of Hamilton Sewer Use Bylaw Number 14-090 General Conditions and Schedule B Limits for Sanitary Sewer and Combined Sewer Discharge. Typically, there is a volumetric fee applied to discharges to the sanitary combined sewer system. For discharges entering the storm sewer system, they must comply with the City of Hamilton Sewer Use Bylaw Number 14-090 General Conditions and Schedule C Limits for Storm Sewer Discharge. It is expected that discharges meet the requirements set by other provincial and federal legislature, including but not limited to the Environmental Protection Act and or the Ontario Water Resources Act. Remember, it is the City of Hamilton's expectation that construction dewatering discharges be directed to the storm sewer system. The sanitary combined sewer system will only be considered if discharges to the storm sewer system are not feasible. Water taking activities are regulated under the Ontario Water Resources Act and Ontario Regulation 387-04. Therefore, in addition to the requirements and approvals issued through the City of Hamilton, the proponent will need to consult the Ministry of the Environment, Conservation and Parks to determine if an Environment Activity Sector Registry or a permit to take water will be required for their development or project. Please note that Ministry approval, if applicable, must be supplied as supporting information with the construction dewatering sewer discharge permit application and that this type of approval can take several months to acquire. As mentioned earlier, it is imperative that proponents start these processes early so that the review periods required to obtain these approvals do not cause project delays. This next section provides an overview of what the permittee will expect to report on and how often. The permittee or permit holder will be required to notify the City of Hamilton at the agreed upon time prior to commencing their discharge into the City of Hamilton sewer works. The preferred method of communication for this notification will be clarified by the City of Hamilton at the time the construction dewatering sewer discharge permit is issued. The permittee will be required to maintain a discharge log which will be used to record the total volume discharged and the peak flow rate for each 24 hour period for the duration of the permit. In addition, the permittee will be required to record water quality parameters as required by the permit for the duration of the permit. The permittee will also be required to provide proof that their flow measuring device has received an annual calibration check. The City of Hamilton will receive a copy of the discharge log once per month and the permittee will be required to submit the discharge log within seven calendar days from the end of the month to which it applies. This next section will provide an overview of what the permittee can expect in terms of monitoring and enforcement activities that will be carried out by City of Hamilton staff. The permittee can expect a first inspection to occur during the startup period of their discharge system. Additional inspections will occur at the City of Hamilton's discretion, with a frequency that depends on the risk associated with the discharge, as determined during the construction dewatering sewer discharge permit application review process. Enforcement actions can be triggered by non-reporting of monthly discharge logs, peak flow discharge limit exceedances, monitoring audits showing exceedances of the maximum limits allowed in the permit, failure to comply with the city's sewer use bylaw, failure to comply with other permit conditions. Enforcement actions will be at the city of Hamilton's discretion. 
exceedances may require implementation of a pretreatment system and or revision of the conditions in the permit to allow the discharge. Thank you for your attention and interest in the City of Hamilton's construction dewatering program. Please visit the City of Hamilton's website or contact Hamilton Water for additional information or to ask any questions you may have about this new program.